Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Ghosts and Spirits podcast. Alright, I've modified the microphone listings that I have here on my computer. Um, hopefully things sound a little better. It seemed like the consensus was that the voice was a little too low, although it sounded clear. So I, I went ahead and changed the settings a little bit and it should sound a little bit louder now. Um, hopefully um, if, if I got the the system perfect then you can hear my voice and then it still sounds very clear in other words there's no background static noise but please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down to see if anything else still needs to be changed um, as I was mentioning in my other video the next entry that I'm going to talk about here is based on a suggestion and this is a rather unique one um, because all of the ghosts and spirits I've talked about in the past seem to have to do with either inanimate objects or they seem to have to do with actual people in other words like themselves this one actually is an animal and so this one is rather interesting to talk about um, it could technically fall under the form of a cryptid but the reason why I'm including it here under the ghosts and spirits podcast is because it actually is a spirit itself so that's the big distinction so it's quite fascinating to see some of the information on this and I'm talking about the spirit known as the Bake Kujira which you'll see a picture of here. Very massive sea creature, uh, I'm sorry, sea spirit that's found uh, somewhere in the seas of Japan. And literally, Bake Kujira translates to ghost whale. Although in some other cases, um, the bake part seems to refer also to the sense of either transformation or change and then Kujira is whale itself so it could also mean like a transformation whale something that um, is essentially transforming from let's say a physical life now to a spiritual life of some sort um, very limited info though when it comes to this particular spirit um, there's only one known instance which I'll talk about here but first let's go over the characteristics of what this spirit is what it looks like think of it as what a huge whale presumably much larger than any of the other known whales on this earth except instead of it being and looking like a real life whale it is actually the skeleton of a whale itself which when you think about it can be very very frightful imagine if you saw in real life you saw something coming towards you and all it was was the rotting skeletal composition of a body of some sort somehow animated and come to life coming straight towards you gigantic thing um, it's it's a it's supposed to resemble a massive skeleton or skeletal baleen whale and again it's somewhere found off the coast of Japan and what also is tied to this particular spirit are some different animals that seem to follow it around too almost like skimmer fishes of some sort um, but these creatures whatever they are they are unlike any other known fish as well they look completely different than any fish that people normally see and then to top that off um, when it comes to the sightings of this particular spirit it also has strange birds that come across it and stay near it as well but they too look unlike any known birds here on earth if I could place it to a closest comparison maybe think along the lines of that movie The Mist where you saw in the movie some iterations of creatures that you have look real and for all intents and purposes look like something that could live in a real environment but because they're coming from a different area different dimension who knows a different universe they look unlike anything we have seen before and so think of it that same way with this particular creature and the fishes and the birds that it brings along now here's the only known instance as to what this thing is um, I don't know when it happens um, I don't know um, like who the per particular people were involved there's no known names nothing in terms of anything concrete tied to it the closest that we have to an actual 
physical thing is the location where this thing was was found. It was apparently off the coast of Okino Island. And here's how the story goes. Um, one rainy night, again, the time is unknown, so I don't know if this was hundreds of years back or if this was as recent as a couple of years back or a couple of decades, who knows. But there were some fishermen that were there just off the shore uh, doing their usual thing in terms of gathering the fish either for themselves or for merchant purposes. And as they were doing so, they saw something off the coast coming towards them. They watched whatever this thing was get closer and closer to them. Finally, one of them decided, um, I guess they might have been brave enough, they decided to go and take a special like rowboat, like a separate rowboat, and to see what this thing was. They guessed that whatever it was, based on the size of it that they saw from the distance on the horizon, that it had to be a whale of some sort. But as they got closer to it, as they rowed closer to whatever this thing was, they saw that unlike the usual whales that they saw uh, let's say off the coast this was unlike anything ever seen before and then on top of that not only were they seeing something massive off in the horizon but they were also seeing tiny things they called them thousands and thousands of strange looking fish along with those birds that I was mentioning earlier finally they got straight to this thing and when they did so, they saw, much to their horror, that it was the skeleton of a great baleen whale. It didn't have any single part of skin on it, no single flesh on it. All it was was an actual skeletal remains of a whale itself. But there it was, moving and thrashing about uh, near their area. And then that's when they also saw a clearer indication of those fish. And then to their horror, now the skies were filled with these strange looking birds. So maybe they saw a couple of birds at the beginning, but as they got closer, the skies suddenly filled with more of these birds. And then on top of that, it's almost as if, and this is a strange part, um, when they got closer to this thing, it's almost as if they were shifted to another area itself because all of a sudden, looming behind this creature was an island of some sort that they hadn't seen there before. So almost like a, like a strange mirage of some sort, the closer they got to it, then the this island suddenly appeared while when they were far away then this island was not there were they being transported someplace else as they were getting closer to this strange creature uh to this strange spirit who knows um, but there it was they saw that they were on an island and that they presumably told thought to themselves they must have rode or been transported into some mysterious country now as far as what this bait kujira did to them it didn't do anything harmful it didn't attack them it didn't try to sink them no it just simply was there uh, just showcasing his presence and then that was it um, to their surprise this thing suddenly turned around and then retreated back off into the sea like far away from them and then that was it. Um, whatever it went, it went away. And it took along those strange looking fish along with those strange looking birds. And so all it left was just a couple of perplexed fishermen wondering to themselves, what the hell did they just see? So presumably they started speculating about themselves or what it was. And the most common idea was that it's simply the ghost of a whale that was killed in Sun Hunt, or in some cases, it could actually be a god of some sort, like um, anything involving the Japanese culture and other Asian cultures, they still have a very strong influence on the idea of, of, of gods and of making sure that they are appeased, but maybe they were thinking to themselves, this could actually be something in terms of much more spiritual aspect because that maybe some god of some sort was presenting itself to them and then that's what they saw that day but as far as any other appearances that's it the bait kujira only had that one known instance but that was it that was uh, that was all the instance it needed because to this day it seems it seems, still seems to have a pretty popular uh i guess uh mainstay when it comes to the Japanese culture there. Um, if anyone has any more information with regards to what this thing is or any other known sightings, it would be great to hear 
But again, a very, very interesting spirit to talk about. First one here known in my series that has to deal w more with an animal spirit itself than any of my other known entries. But again, if anyone has any more information that they can share, particularly, please, any other known experiences, that would be very good to hear too. So, all right, everybody, I'll probably do one more entry here for the Ghosts and Spirits series and then I'll give it a rest and then I'll probably start working soon on the Cryptids and Monsters. So, Alright, everybody, have a good day. Take care. Bye.